Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero, the channel that is going to help you become the best version of yourself every single day. My name is Fabio and I'm an expert in risk management and market manipulation and today I'm going to discuss about the 24 reasons why I'm mega bullish on internet computer ICP. Oftentimes people tell me, hey Fabio, give me only one good reason why I should be bullish on internet computer. What about 24 reasons. So let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. First of all, first reason why I'm mega bullish on internet computer is the team. In fact, the Definity Foundation built and developed this project. It has one of the biggest, if not the biggest, research and development team in crypto history and in blockchain history with more than 250 scientists that are professionals and that are doing an amazing job. We are coming then at the second point that is decentralization. So many people are telling me, hey, the team is great, all good, but the fact that the Definitive Foundation has so much voting power, it's a clear sign of centralization of the network. Well, that is wrong. In fact, uh, we can measure the decentralization of a blockchain in terms of a Nakamoto coefficient. The higher the Nakamoto coefficient, the higher is the decentralization of the network. Internet computer scores 124 in terms of the Nakamoto coefficient. If we compare this with the 34 of Ethereum, 22 of Cardano, 31 of Solana, we may just simply say that internet computer is five times more decentralized than Solana and Ethereum. Look at the Definity and Internet Computer Association voting power. It is constantly dropping over time, which is a sign of decentralization over time of the network. Next reason, and one of my favorite reasons, the performance of Internet Computer against Bitcoin. So if we take a look at this chart, we may see that we are out of the accumulation phase. We had a breakout more than 225% up in a matter of a couple of months and now we are facing epic resistance and we had multiple touch points here. What does this mean? This simply means that I believe that in the short term we will be rejected and we are getting rejected against the BTC pair. Why? Simply because the Bitcoin dominance is extremely high at the moment, Bitcoin is pushing higher and higher and it's very strong and this is Bitcoin season. More than 98% of the altcoins are currently bleeding against Bitcoin and ICP is one of the best performers. ICP is one of those 2% in this bucket of 2% of the projects that are currently holding very well against Bitcoin. Just take a look at the Bitcoin dominance that is once again facing epic resistance at least in the medium to short term and if we see a breakdown here at least to 50% we could see ICP absolutely flying both against the USDT pair and against the BTC pair. Okay, adoption. And this is also a very controversial topic and people tell me, hey, there is no adoption for internet computer. Well, let's talk about Utopia that is unstoppable, tamper-proof and open platform for independent autonomy. In my opinion, Utopia will bring a lot of new market participants governments, enterprises, companies, militaries, and so on and so forth. Therefore, why would these people and these enterprises join internet computer? First of all, because it's fast, cheap, and secure. With Utopia, we could see the adoption that we really need to take off. Just let's take as an example the adoption of BTC. And people in the market, especially retail investors, they usually do not have a lot of patience. But in fact, the adoption of Bitcoin took over a decade. And Bitcoin is not yet massively adopted. In fact, only certain governments, maybe one government in, in the world, had fully adopted uh, BTC, while the other countries are still fighting against the adoption of uh, BTC. Therefore, these processes take decades to play out. Patience is key in this case. Let's talk about the security of the network now. So, internet computer is extremely secure and hacker-proof. 
let's just take in consideration how many breach hacks we had in the past and previous years. So you can take a look at the Harmony breach hack, Ronin breach hack, Solana breach hack, Torchin breach hack, and how many millions of dollars were lost in the process. However, Internet Computer fixes this problem. In fact, you will not see outages for Internet Computer as you may see for Solana and Internet Computer is extremely secure. And this is one of the reasons, once again, why enterprises could adopt Internet Computer because of security. Let's talk about the very good tokenomics of Internet Computer. More than 88% of the total supply is currently circulating. 48% of the whole supply is staked and 55% of the staked supply is staked for eight years. Therefore, there are a ton of long-term investors that are bullish on internet computer. Let's take as a comparison the number of investors that staked internet computer for eight years, 133 million ICP against the amount of internet computer that is staked for zero to six months, only 15 million ICP. Therefore, the amount of long-term investors is a lot higher than the amount of short-term investors. What about the inflation rate? And once again, many people say, hey, Internet Computer has a horrible inflation rate. Again, not right. Only 4 to 4.5% 4 annualized inflation for Internet Computer that could drop in the future due to the burning mechanism and that could even lead Internet Computer to become deflationary in the future. Based on this simulation, it could take five to six years for Internet Computer to become deflationary. Let's talk now about the undervaluation of Internet Computer. And how do I track undervaluation? First of all, based on the market cap, $6 billion against Ethereum, that is 49 times more expensive than Internet Computer or Solana that is eight times more expensive than Internet Computer. Let's take in consideration the market cap, the historical market cap at the peak of the last bull run. So in order to crack the top 10, a project needed $27.5 billion in market capitalization. If we take in consideration a growth in the asset class of crypto of a 2x over time from the last to this cycle, which is, I believe, a conservative estimate. And if we take in consideration that, in my opinion, Internet Computer is a top 10 project in the uh, current cycle, Internet Computer could be worth more than $50 billion in terms of market cap, which is, once again, fantastic. Let's take a look uh, now at the Genesis token allocation. So you may see that a lot of uh, early investors are already vested and have their tokens unlocked, like early backers, strategic round investors, and pre-sale investors. Obviously, there is a quite a large of seed investors that is still uh, has their uh, ICP un unlocked, or rather locked, I'm sorry, and that will get their ICP over time. However, in a bullish environment, I believe this will not create a big dump on the open market, especially because whales are currently not selling ICP that I will just show in a moment. Okay, energy consumption. Internet computer is eco-friendly. Just compare the energy consumption of internet computer to other blockchains like Solana, Ethereum, Cardano, and Bitcoin. Internet computer is much, much more eco-friendly. Speed. What about speed? 5,600 transactions per second for internet computer and a peak of 20,000 transactions per second in the last 90 days. Let's compare this with Visa that claims that at max capacity can process 24,000 transactions per second. And we all know that Visa has a ton of utility and a ton of customers. Let's now compare this with other blockchains. In fact, Solana claims that they can process 65,000 transactions per second. However, they achieve this only in their testnet. What is their real TPS? 800 transactions per second. 
compared also to HBAR that has more than 1000. However, all these blockchains are at least five times slower than internet computer in terms of transactions per second. And here you may see the real TPS for Solana that at the moment is six times lower, more than six times slower, seven times slower of internet computer. What about the cost? Let's compare the cost of internet computer storage cost with the cost of storage on Ethereum. One million times cheaper than Ethereum in terms of cost. Why is that important? Why is the speed? Why is the cost important? Because if, if everything will be hosted 100% on chain, the network needs to be extremely fast to process all these transactions and the cost of storage needs to be very low. On top of that, the network needs to be hacker-proof and secure, which at the moment it is. Let's move on to the growth in developer activity. And this is a big one. Many people are still telling me, hey, there is no developer activity on internet computer. Wrong. Let's just take a look at the data, at the metrics. 4,000 uh, Canister smart contracts in 2021. And why I'm taking uh, Canister smart contracts as a metric here? Because the amount and the number of Canister smart contracts speak to the developer growth and activity on the network. Let's compare the 4,000 Canisters in 2021 with the 140,000 canisters in 2022 and 394,000 canisters in 2024. Therefore, there is a huge growth in developer activity on the network. Let's read this little article. 2023 was a brutal year for the crypto industry, showing a significant decline in developer activity across top blockchain ecosystems for the first time. The ICP developer community was not immune, while, but while it lost developers in the first few quarters, the year still closed with a 30% increase despite the slow start. Therefore, even if 2023 was a rough year in terms of developer activity, internet computers still came on top and had a growth of 30%. Let's compare the single chain developer growth for the blockchains between 500 and 2,500 developers. Only ICP has a stellar growth. Let's compare this to other blockchains. Bitcoin minus 8%, Polkadot minus 26%, Cosmos minus 19%, Polygon minus 54%, Cardano minus 24%. Well, ICP had a huge growth in terms of developer activity. What about the ecosystem? I'm not only bullish on DeFi, social fi, I'm also bullish on many narratives like gaming, NFTs, artificial intelligence, metaverse. So internet computer uh, covers multiple narratives, which is obviously positive because I would rather invest in a project that covers many narratives than a project that co covers only one narrative. Because if one narrative fails, the project will fail. While in this case, if one or two narratives do fail, but the other will succeed, still internet computer will have a massive success. Let's take a look at uh, the holders and whales for internet computer. 1.6 million holders for internet computer and the amount of tokens that the whales are holding is just increasing over time, even though very slowly, which is just an indication that whales are not selling ICP at the moment. What about the amount of core developers and comets? and the amount of core developers and commits is in constant growth for internet computer. What about um, the launch of internet computer? Was it a rug pull? No, it wasn't. In my opinion, it was just a simple market manipulation from FDX that launched um, futures on ICP, perpetual futures, four days before ICP was officially launched. Therefore, they had plenty of time to pump the price of ICP and dump the price of ICP. So it was a simple pump and dump, but not because the project is a pump and dump, simply because there was a malicious activity from FTX, in my opinion, here. And the fact that you could just simply list futures so much in advance, in my opinion, this is a big red flag. 
Therefore, I believe it's not the fault of the project, it's simply the fault of how greedy certain bag, bad actors were at the time. Let's take a look at the ICP against USDT chart, 400% up against the dollar and is still hovering uh, at the top of this range. Okay, what about the short TA? In my opinion, this is a five, um, um, five waves move to the upside and I can count a wave to here completed. However, it was a very shallow second wave. We could still break down even to five or six dollars for internet computer. It has a ton of space to the downside. However, it could also revert now because it has been performing so well. And if the third wave plays out, that would be mega, mega bullish for internet computer. Internet computer is a revolutionary technology. So let's just take a look at what Bitcoin does. Bitcoin is the gold 2.0. Ethereum represented a massive innovation because it introduced DeFi, NFTs, smart contracts. However, what does internet computer do is even more revolutionary because everything is hosted 100% on chain, NFTs, games, everything. Therefore, internet computer, in my opinion, will be huge, especially if we take in consideration how quick is the network, how safe is the network, and how cheap is the cost of storage. Let's take a look at the macro. Look here, we are still not in altcoin season. The uh, total tree is pushing against the dollar, but not against Bitcoin. And look at the total crypto market cap. We have seen almost $1 trillion pumped in a matter of just a few months into the cryptoverse, which is a proof that we are out of the accumulation phase and we are approaching crypto spring. However, in my opinion, we have still a lot of wiggle room and we could reach even five to $10 trillion in a total crypto market capitalization for this asset class. Therefore, there is still a lot of space for growth. What about the fear and greed index? We are still in extreme greed, which just proves how strong Bitcoin is at the moment. And Bitcoin, once again, will just annihilate 98% of the altcoins in terms of the valuation against the BTC pair. Okay, uh, let's take a look at Ethereum being a sister network for ICP. So Vitalik Buterin claims that uh, the Finity is Ethereum's sister network, which just speaks volume to how much uh, Vitalik Buterin has respect for Definity and for what they have built. Uh, 22, chain key Bitcoin. So I could even, and I will record a whole video about chain key Bitcoin. Let's just read certain key facts. So chain key Bitcoin is now live on the internet computer, acting as a Bitcoin twin Chainkey Bitcoin enables fast, low-fee, cryptographically secure, fully on-chain Bitcoin transactions on the internet computer, bringing true decentralization to DeFi on and the blockchain space. So as you may see here, in 2024, DeFi grew from 15 billion in TVL to 165 billion, but fell to 39 billion by the end of 2022, on the back of 2.7 billion in lost funds due to hacks and exploits. As Chainkey Bitcoin is truly decentralized, it has potential to reverse this negative DeFi trend we saw in 2022 caused by large-scale hacks and rock pools. And this is once again the fact, and that I mentioned multiple times, that internet computer is hacker-proof and secure. So just imagine DEXs offering BTC trading pairs decentralized fundraisers accepting Bitcoin or Web3 social fi services allowing Satoshis to be sent via chat messages is now possible on the internet computer. Let's take a look at other factors and I will not read once again uh, all these facts. And let's just move at this point to the, to the next metric, which is scarcity. So I mentioned this multiple times in my, in my previous videos that internet computer is three times more scarce than BTC on exchanges and four times more scarce than Ethereum and uh, Solana, which once again is a reason why I'm bullish on internet computer and why I believe internet computer is undervalued 
compared to Solana and Ethereum. Let's now come to the final uh, 24th reason why I'm bullish on internet computer and this is because of the Google Trends and as you may see here still nobody cares, nobody talks about internet computer. In my opinion what Solana has uh, and what Solana is doing better than internet computer is PR and marketing. If internet computer and their um, team nails the marketing in the bull run, I believe that internet computer will do exceptionally well, both against BTC and especially against the USDT pair. Having said that, guys, I believe that I explained all the reasons in a nice way. If you have any kind of questions, feel free to write me in the chat. If you like this video, as always, give me a big fat thumbs up because I put in hundreds of hours of research to bring you the most truthful, objective and unbiased information. Subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.